tuberculosis. We used to hear a lot of people coughing, dreadful coughs, and you, a lot of people were stooped. Um, the tuberculosis sort of must have made, sort of put humps on people's back, and probably bent over, trying to breathe or something. There was a special look about someone that had had TB and mm. and uh, still had it. But Mrs. Wilson had these operations. And, I never saw her scars, but I saw a girl in high school and half her back had a scar uh, in a hook shape mm. and I reckon it was uh, an inch, is it 2.5 centimetres wide, all right down her back. And I thought she was very, very brave. Uh, she didn't get old. But I thought she was very brave because she showed it. She used to just go to swimming, took no notice. So it was really good because you'd have your first initial shock and your first look and then you just accepted it and I just accepted it and thought she was terribly brave. Mm. But I think in those days if you had scars or lost limbs, it was... I did never ever felt it, but there was a bit of a social stigma about losing limbs. Yes. And that was brought, I remember it, but it was brought home when Darby's aunt Bonnie lost the tip of her um, ring finger in an accident at Cadbury's on a machine, which they gave her the afternoon off. <laughs> Nothing else. And she used to practice hiding it. I don't know whether you ever saw it. Oh, she's very no, good. Darby's talked about it. Very, and that was a, it was deformed. 